Hello, welcome back to the Beastlands. I'm Castle, and this is my stupid face. Thanks for coming back and hanging out with us once again as we journey deeper into the forgotten lands known as Memoriland. We're going to do a quick recap, but I'd like you to know that we're currently holding a contest. It is an art contest. Any kind of fantasy art is welcome. Uh, we don't have any applicants, meaning it's going to be really easy for you to win. Uh, so drop a drop us an email with your application to Call of the Beastlands uh, at Google.com. Without further ado, here's the show. Anybody want some ice cream? No. I would love some ice cream. Why don't you go ahead and send it on over? Okay. <laughs> It's a box just covered in chocolate. Hello. <laughs> this box is soggy. It smells like crap. What is this? <laughs> it's bird crap edition. It's cookies and cream. <laughs> it's cold, too. All right, welcome back, everybody. Hello. Beautiful. I love the new tokens, Calvin. You're welcome. All right, so uh, you guys are in the middle of somewhat of an emergency. There's an incursion, a foul menace, people eater in the Ironwood Enclave. I suppose the first thing to do is um, uh, probably some of the guards and just tell everybody, spread the message to gather in one central place. I'm just going to go ahead and call forth my visage and tell where do you want them to go. I th I'm still thinking vault or outside the wall, so we can post up at either, you know, along the path to the vault or to the outside and have you telling the guards which, which ones to take away, essentially. Because we do have guards. We have mm -hmm. all my monk folks, so I'm assuming that they can at least, you know... Help you? Help. Yeah. I mean, we could try and gather everybody in this, like, clearing, um, this plot area, and just have, like, the guards go to each area and escort everybody outside, and then once everybody is outside of every building, have them head towards the same area for now. Which plot? Longer. Uh, just the bottom right. Now, hold on a second. Remind me, you hollowed a bunch of ground on that place, didn't you? I did. Let's see. There's only one circle, but I'm pretty sure I've hollowed more than just this one area. I'm pretty sure I did the... Um, the first floor of the main tree as well. Yeah. Well, let me just read this real quick. Okay, this doesn't actually affect aberrations. I guess never mind. Oh, well. Unfortunate. Yeah. Unfortunate That's... indeed. So, yeah, All right. Just... Oh, well have the guards spread out to each um, tree and start gathering everybody in one place and then once everybody from that tree has been gathered, have them then head over to the empty plot in the bottom right where we can then start uh, screening. If it's a really bad situation 
where there's just like a hundred of them. And everyone's been dead for hours? <laughs> uh, I don't exactly know what to do, but if there's only, say, ten, maybe even twenty, it might be possible to just um, kind of take groups, localize groups of them on the guise of individual screening, and then take care of the one in that group. I know a I know a way to do that. If there are if there are a large number of them, contain them in one area and set it on fire and burn them. Yeah, but we can't single out the individuals. Like we said, uh, they have a form of intelligence. That they have some form of intelligence. They'll notice that we are onto them and that we can tell who's real, who's fake. So, under the, but... the guise of just random individual screening, we will take groups that have one or two, and then maybe a group that doesn't have any of them. They all, you're, you're good to go, go into the screening section, and start slowly filtering them out. But if you light them on fire, they'll lose their form within a matter of seconds, as opposed to the people who are real people. Put them out real fast. Yes, they, the guys... they will just burn. <laughs> they'll just they'll just burn to death. <laughs> we'll weed them out quickly. Well, it's an interesting question. Gizzard, you had something to say about that, didn't you? Yeah, I wanted to test out with that vial of the goop from the one from In the Ruins. Okay. So you take out this vial of orangish goop? Uh... While everyone's getting everything ready and getting people assembled and all that, I'm going to ritually cast Detect Magic to see if there's any kind of magical residue in it, if this thing was magically created, and if I could detect it with magic. Uh... This... That's a good question. It, I don't think, would pop up under Tech Magic. Uh, well, it's... Hmm. Like, they're... Hmm. Well, I would say if it's constructed by a wizard of some sort, if it's not through, like, gnomish technological means, then I would say it would be magical. Google says that uh, aberrants are related to beholders, so that's what I'm asking. Yeah, beholders are also aberrations and such. And, like, they're magically created, but are they considered? I don't know. Would they be using they some like sort of... Charm? Are they magically delicious? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You want to try some of the goop? Yeah. You can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic. Bears so, magic. It's not like they, they're under like a haste spell or something, you know what I mean? But are they using magic in order to alter their appearance? No. That's just an inherent ability that they have? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I've been trying to avoid copyright infringement and shit, but have you ever seen The Thing? The movie yeah. The Thing? Mm -hmm. So you can kind of consider these things like aliens. Gotcha. Well, and, like, beholders would show up well, under Detect Magic because they're constantly using magic. Well, I'll say if it helps, there's a spell for druids, psychics, and rangers. That is detect aberration. So, assuming oh. since it's its own spell. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. It's not gonna pop up under detect magic because they're not like they're creatures. They're not actually using magic, and they're not under the influence of magic. They're just fucked up little beings. Mm -hmm. it was worth a shot anyway. It was um, worth a shot. What's your next test? Next one is I'm gonna. Like, put a little droplet on the floor and try and ignite it with prestidigitation. Oh, it bursts in the flame. Um, I have an idea. Yeah. yeah? 
why don't Dirk send out a little quirky looking gnome and see if they go for the bait? As in like a... Just a gnome. Do you, have, do you have an illusion spell that could. a high enough level illusion spell that could do something like that? I got disguised self. You could be a no. I mean, I don't know if we'd be able to disguise. They say Dirk disguises himself as a no. Or we could doctor, disguise uh, as the, uh, one of the doctor dudes. Not the creepy one. I don't know. That Professor Zimmer Zimmerlin. Sounds Zimmerlin. I mean, the real question on that one is like. What makes you think they would rather go for a gnome than any other target? Because they tried to wipe out the gnomes. No, they just happened to be in the area of gnomes. Yeah, I just think that's because they was hungry. But you could send a dirtle illusion running through there. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. That attracts all sorts of violence. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs and cats living together, sheer pandemonium. <laughs> right. So, uh, I mean, your original idea of, like, you know, getting everyone out in groups and screening them as they go has merit. That's the only um, good idea we've got right now. Right. And, you know, it's not like I did this with any easy solution in mind. So, you know. There's the obvious ones that we can trust to watch over the um, the the group. We can trust. Um, God, I'm forgetting her name, but the uh, the Fay that yeah. watched over. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And if Polly is coming back, uh, we can have uh, him with the Steel Defender. Don't forget uh, the Tiefling. With still defenders. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The the so we might want to find Rascal too. Yeah, the Tieflings at the bar. Um, Rascal, I thought left. Oh, did he? In my mind, he did. I thought he let uh, recovered and left. Hmm. Hey, Poe, I've got a question for you. For you. Pretty sure he did that, yeah, as well. Yeah, he definitely got an invitation to stay, but he's, you know, rascal. He's got tons of plans, things going in motion. Mm -hmm. right. But the the tiefling comes up after you guys yell and stuff. Is like, what? How can I help? Uh, Bullrat. The uh, basic instructions: uh, send him into one of the buildings with the guards. Start collecting all of the people. Attack anything trying to hurt the residents of the fortress on site, any slime type creature uh, there's been an infestation copy that so he goes running off and he grabs a couple of the monk mantises and starts heading towards another one of the buildings mm -hmm. um Dodier, you still have your visage on you can be heard throughout the most of the tree I wanted to know if Henna could cast to detect evil and good before. Uh, no, unfortunately, that's not my skill set. Yeah. So I'll just. Have you to told them. everybody to start? Uh, have you told everybody to start collecting towards the uh, the bottom right? Yeah, southeast area corner. Of the... mm -hmm. That's what I was about to. Uh, it's pretty much going to tell us within six hundred feet. How far is that? I need to see because that's. I should be able to get everybody, right? Like, yeah. That, that oh yeah, be easily. That should be everybody. Okay. So yeah, I mean, some of the upper reaches of the tree may be distant, but you should be able to get everyone around you. How about me and Dirk go up the tree as high as we can and uh, in bow range, and you that way, if anything starts, what? You try and get a perch so you can watch over the main chamber. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was... And doing. if anybody starts going berserk or whatever, we can take them out from there. Right, so what I'm hearing is you guys hang out in the main chamber while the evacuation starts going. Everyone starts heading outside towards the area. 
And while you're here, you screen anyone coming out. Yeah? All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. I have a question. What? Gizzard is going to ask Poe if when he talks to someone telepathically in their head, do they have to reply out loud? Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I was hoping that they could just reply in their head. Because then that way, Les could just sit at the door, and while people are leaving, any aberration will be kicked off in that, and he can just mark them with Poe. Oh, so mark them silently kind of thing? Yeah. I have the light cantrip. Yeah. What we can do is I can just make the light really bright when it is uh, an aberration so that people like will remember like that person had a really bright light or just dim if it's a normal person or poe could let me know which ones are the aberrations because i can communicate telepathically with them as my familiar and i can just press the digitation and mark on them and so we tell we tell some of the guards like the the meaning behind the light uh, as people are like walking by, yeah, yeah, okay. So, all right, so yeah, you guys yell out, get in your places. Uh, people start panicking and running for the door. That's what I was thinking. I don't want to just yell. There's a problem. problem. I want to go, guys. Yes. We're back from our trip. I want everybody in the southeast corner. That's all I'm gonna say. We oh. have presents. <laughs> okay. I join the crowd because yeah. I have nothing I can do. Well, but I really stay can. alert. I'm not gonna shout. You're all gonna die, Southeast Corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, we have so. an announcement to make. We have some good news. Dirk found a map. Very specific. And the map says, <laughs> <laughs> "Not a gas chamber." That's what it says. Not a gas chamber. <laughs> A land of metal and machinery. All right, so uh, yeah, some people start heading down the stairs, you know, grabbing whatever they're doing and moseying along. Um, Lesk, you have your spell on, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna remain thirty feet in the air. So, um, a few. Groups of people come out before you catch one. He comes down the stairs, and you can tell plainly that that is an aberration. Uh, And you mark him with your light cantrip, right? Mm -hmm. And um, uh, a gizzard marks him with, like, an X on his back or something. What are we doing with the ones that mark? If if anyone ask a, uh, asks a question, then just say that we will be giving out random uh, little Price. bits and baubles, you know, that we found uh, during our ex- ex- excursion to the people. Okay. So this goes on for a while until about five individuals have been marked. Um, one mantis folk, and the rest are rabbit folk. Um. And then, then you hear a scream from up high in the tree. Uh, Ascites and Dirk, who are up on higher levels, uh, see a panicking um, young rabbit folk uh, running towards the stairs. I and oh, arrow <laughs> ready. <laughs> uh, she doesn't appear to be being chased or anything, but. She's screaming, and other people are looking at her, and she says, uh, Blood! There's blood everywhere! Uh, it, it appears as though this person has found one of the dead bodies in the rooms. Um, and people are starting to react and start running down. Let's see. Can I see that? 
from your vantage point at the door, probably not, because there's like multiple uh, balconies going up. I'd like to cl I'd like to start running up whatever I can until I yeah, can you can get up there and probably around if you dash. And then using my visage, I'd like to directly talk to just the ones the that are better. freaking out and go, I need you to stay calm. I don't want people to die. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Well, luckily for you, you're well trusted, and that was the DC. <laughs> so um yeah uh the shocked look remains on the faces but they visibly stop panicking and look at you and start slowly moving down the stairs um yeah cool so um uh it seems oh I was Go just going to say, once it seems like everybody has been gathered from the trees, that uh, we just spread a message out to the guards. Anybody who's not at the present gathering is to be arrested and treated like as a potential threat. Bring multiple people uh, before attempting to bring them out and arrest them. Okay. Just in case some some of them decided to try and hide away. Okay, so you guys going to spread out and check the rooms and stuff? First, I think we should deal with the people in the square. Uh, do that random lottery and just be like, uh, there's that group and that group. Uh, you know, just like calling out some names. And just be like, come, on, game. come on up, we got some metal for you. Do my uh, Mantis folk have good stealth? or I don't know their stats. Like, uh could they stealth it's, up on all of them and grapple? It's them? not. It's not something that they're super trained in. You are, like, naturally good at you know staying still and being un unobserved, but stealth isn't uh, part of your monk training. I wonder if I could just get them to sneak up on all these ones and grapple them, but. Uh, well, you can definitely command them to if that's what you want. No, I'm gonna wait till we get them separated from the rest of the. I'm just trying mm -hmm. to make sure nobody else dies. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. so let's let's move this scene. So the adventuring party is in front of a huge crowd of Todier's subjects uh, on the lawn, and there are you know some guards scattered around. And um, they're starting to, you know, talk amongst themselves, uh, start start rumors. They're wondering what's going on. And um, who wants to take the lead on talking to this crowd? I will. Okay, Lesk steps forward. Mm -hmm. Truth! Uh, as some of you have made known, we recently went on, out on an excursion. Through this excursion, we have found a source of plentiful metal. I uh, just asked Tony to bring out one of the, the robot things. I literally dumped the snake out of the bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, There's plenty of murmuring and discussion. Weird metallic creatures. <laughs> uh, their bodies are made of entirely metal. Uh... Through this discovery, we plan to potentially harvest it and see if we can start up a blacksmith here within the fortress. Oh, this so, is met with oh, applause. I, I, I can actually help. Mm -hmm. And so those who've had previous work with blacksmithing and making tools, potentially jewelry, accessories, uh, any of you that have the talents or the skills, uh, we will be looking to hire many people there's a cheer. Yeah, yeah. Our economy's booming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this would be great. This would be great for the enclave. Chant that at the same time. <laughs> they do not all say that at the same time. I'm just the telling you what. The economy's booming, booming. They're all infected. <laughs> Kill them. <laughs> Kill them all. <laughs> Here comes the boom. Here comes. Oh, I... the boom. Here comes I the mean... boss. <laughs> 
I am somewhat talented, but I can't make my voice sound like a thousand or a hundred people talking at once. So this is just the impression that you're getting from the crowd. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, get that one guy to shut up. He's <laughs> way louder than everyone else. Shut up, Frank. Uh, through this excursion, we have brought back many um, metallic objects and intriguing things. We plan to, to reward everybody and spread the news so that you can show people outside the fortress that there would be these wonderful metal objects being crafted here. Uh, certain groups that we've picked out, please come up, come forward. We just start like directing the guards, like collect these a group of assorted people, make sure that we have all of the infected um, selected. All right, go ahead and give me a deception check. All right, anybody gonna be helping me with this one? Yeah, yeah. we're all. Help. Yeah, go ahead and give it to me with advantage. We're Dirk, Dirk is just trying his best together. little hand poses of going, Ooh, Ooh uh, ah. A zero, oh, 13. Wow. Wow. I have zero bonus to my perception. <laughs> Do uh, I want to give myself guidance? Deception? Yeah, you can give yourself guidance. It seems like something that you would try to do, too. Oh, Lord, help me deceive these oh, little creatures. Wow, we are. <laughs> this is not. God damn it. Wow. 14. <laughs> okay, so. Let me just check something real quick. <laughs> I was doing well up until now. <laughs> uh. Les, what, what is this break brought to us by? Well, this break is brought to us by. Uh. Dunge dungeons and. Diners, where you can get your uh, a lovely breakfast meal anytime you want, <laughs> furnished with only the finest of holding cells and torture pits for you to enjoy your meal. <laughs> you see, it's an adventure for the whole family. <laughs> 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 Every room has its Come own toilet in the corner. The Dungeons and Diners, your first cup of green slime is absolutely free. It's delicious. Uh, you're going to have to roll to determine what menu you get on this trip. What? Yeah. <laughs> Clients devoured by gelatinous cubes will not be reimbursed for their time. Roll <laughs> <Old> to six. Roll <laughs> to six. Okay, so hold on. Um Oh wow. That's actually pretty incredible. All right, so um Yeah, you start calling forward names, the marked people start coming up and uh then it seems like they've caught on to you because a couple of them grab onto nearby civilians and put them in like a hold. And uh, one of them says, yeah, you need to guarantee me free passage. We're getting out of here. Can Dirk and I see them? Um, yes. Wait. Uh, they're all outside, so you wouldn't be at your perches anymore. Yeah, we all How are. many of them do this? I thought we were on the outside of the tree. Uh, oh, you're on the outside of the tree? Shit, what kind of range are we talking about then? Shoot up to 300 feet. <laughs> yeah, but he's got a short... Five feet away. So let's say, like, you're on a branch over here. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's actually lo considered long range for SITs. You'd have disadvantage on attacks. But, Dirk, that's within your short range. So mm. We both have a longbow. Oh, you have a longbow, too? I thought you were working with a shortbow. My bad. Yeah, he's been no, training. I, got that's I forgot, yeah, you went through the training and such. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, you guys are fine. How many people? Uh, yes. Um, three out of five of them. 
Okay, I'm, other, gonna tar- I'm, I'm gonna target the one that grabbed a hold of one of the civilians. Hold. Okay. Hold. I'm gonna tell the guards to grab the two that came that fell forward essentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then jump to the one nobody else that he's not targeting. I'll go. Uh, I'll go away from the tree. How far from the tree? How f- is how far away is the closest one to me? Uh, I mean, two of them that came forward are within you know like 15 feet probably. Mm-hmm. So I uh, I was gonna see if I could cast sanctuary on one of them. On one of the enemies? One, one of the uh, people that they have in their hold. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, so, it yeah, them to try and choose a, a potential different target. Yeah, you can do that. Let's see, does this work with... Uh... Okay, I can't upcast it, it looks like. N- no, but it's a bonus action, and it's a really good spell, but... You know, you might get someone else's head bit off, is all I'm saying. I mean... It is what it is. It's all I can do. (laughs) Yeah. So, um, you got this crowd who suddenly are starting to realize that something is off. And three of them are grabbing onto people and demanding safe travel out of here. And the other two are getting grabbed by guards, mantises. And as soon as they do, like, they start mutating into these big, mod tentacled creatures. And they start fighting back against the guards. Follow us on all major social media. Discord, Twitch. And as always, thank you for joining us. And we hope to see you again next week.